In this video, I'm going to go through how I deploy a Java web application. In a typical application, we have three layers. We have the database, we have the application server, and then we also have a front-end web server. A typical request goes from the client into the web server, and then the web server forwards that request to the application server, and then the application server eventually will use the database to retrieve the data using a database query or manipulate the data in the database using some updates. And then from there, if it is a query, the data gets returned to the application server. The application server transforms that data and into something presentable and then forwards that back to the client via the web server. In a Java application, the only difference is that this application server is going to be written in Java. And this database can be any relational database. For myself, I use MySQL because it is a low-cost solution for my clients. And then for the web server, I use Nginx. And Nginx acts as a reverse proxy. It is called a reverse proxy is because this web server is also a proxy that sits on the server end of the communication. Typically, a proxy would be on the client side, proxying the communication between the web browser to the internet. The other responsibility of Nginx in this architecture is that Nginx also handles the HTTPS communication. Everything communicate through HTTPS from the client to the web server, and then from the web server to the application server, it's going to be just HTTP, or it could be also S, HTTPS, secure. And then from the application to the database, it will be using some SSL. You can also have SSL to encrypt the communication between the web server and the application server. The way that I deploy this is that in the beginning, if it's a small application, I would deploy all this inside one single server. So this is one single server. And if the application needs to scale, what I would do is then split this into multiple servers down like so. We could partition this into three. One would be, this would be a server one. This would be server two and then server three for performance reasons because you want each of those processes to run in a different server such that they don't compete for the same resources. Okay, so that is basically how I deploy my Java web applications that uses Java and MySQL as well as Nginx as the front end proxy. When I first learned web development in Java, I was overwhelmed by the number of technologies and frameworks that I have to learn. And I made a few mistakes along the way. That is why I created a resource guide to help you to avoid those mistakes and to streamline your learning. So go to fullstackmastery.com slash guides and then click on that download now button to download that free resource guide. Thank you for watching. I will put the next video in this series in the descriptions and comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and also visit fullstackmastery.com for more great courses.